All right, welcome to Hierve del Agua, which means the water boils. This particular spot in Oaxaca is one of the most famous places. It is basically a petrified waterfall, which doesn't really make sense. But when you see it, it will make a little bit of sense. It's a rock waterfall. There's very little water here. It used to flow over the top, but now mineral deposits have made it into a giant cascading rock formation. I'm here with Steve. Okay, let's dive in. Explore this lesser known spot in Oaxaca, Mexico. Let's do it. One thing that's amazing about this place is these natural infinity pools. I'm standing on the edge of it now. It's about two meters of green emerald water to the bottom. It's kind of cold. I'm not going to jump in right now. But they cascade down and form these things that are great for photos. See Steve over there next to all the small little rock pools. How is it Steve? Down here. Over here to the right, you can see one of the petrified waterfalls. This is made by hundreds of thousands of years of mineral rich water cascading over the side of a cliff. And it deposits rock slowly, slowly, slowly over top as it goes over. It's a little bit like when you go into a cave and you see stalactites coming from the ceiling. T is a shape like it's like tight. Stalagmites from the bottom. M is kind of like a stalagmite. They go up. Rain comes from the sky, goes down into cracks in the earth, gathers all these minerals, and then gets deposited as it drips through. From the roof of a cave, from the side of a cliff, it's all the same thing. It's quite beautiful. Wow, it's so cool to see this rock wall. You can see much better how slowly, slowly, slowly rock gets deposited on the side of this cliff. It almost looks like old paint. If you look at how this is shaped, ripples and ripples and ripples and ripples. It almost looks like fungus or frog eggs or wet paint. It's amazing, it's just dripping for thousands, hundreds of thousands of years, millions of years, just dripping, dripping, dripping a little tiny bit every single day, eventually creates something as beautiful as this. We're in Mexico, so apparently we're allowed to walk all over the top of these rock formations. Other countries and other places that have similar features like this aren't as generous with where you can walk. It allows us to get some super awesome shots. Wow, have you seen this view? This is it, man. Also, there is no, there's definitely no safety rails and it's definitely very slippery. <laughs> Look at that thing. These are so beautiful. It almost looks like when you're flying over the Philippines or Indonesia, all the small little sand islands in the middle of the ocean. It's amazing that Earth can make shapes like this. From what, what I read, it was so rain comes down, mixes into the ground, makes carbonic acid, which then contacts marble, which is already present in the ground. Then it's salty. I don't know. Is it salty? It should be. So it dissolves the marble in the ground, it makes calcium carbonate, and then it gets plastered on top like big thick paint. So it is 
super hard like marble would be. So walking over to the edge, it looks like there's a series of waterfalls. You can see a small one behind me over there. There's the one we're on, which we can't see the front edge, but there's the big one over there. It looks, it looks amazing. It's a bunch of like tooth shaped columns. They look like giant molars from some mega beast stuck in the ground coming up. So on the edge of the first set of falls you see with the infinity pool, you can see a beautiful, the big beautiful waterfall. We are gonna go check it out. There's a sign here saying, please, you have to have a authorized guide to take the trail. You have to pay to do so. But since we're here Monday morning on the off season, the only guide is Steve. Steve, donde es el camino? Esta por acá. Okay. Wow, yeah, from this angle you can really, really see it. It's so windy. It is. What, what, are, your cat on. what are your impressions of Yerbe de Agua? It's pretty cool. It's like a little bit like Pamukkale in Turkey. We have like these cascades. Like the, the shelves of, of the calcified rock. Like uh, artificial pools and they have natural pools. They do, but they did a really good job because I can't really tell which one's artificial, which one's natural. And that, that's actually kind of a cool concept, right? Because they, they let's say they carve an area. Mm. Fast forward 50 years and nature's going to calcify yeah, over top of it. True, yeah. So if you carve the stone, nature's going to mold the stone anyway and deposit more calcium on top. So that's probably why you can't tell. Science is cool! <laughs> One thing Mexicans love to do, this says don't cut the plants. They might not cut them, but they love to take these maguey plants and carve the names of their cariños, their sweethearts, into the sides. <laughs> this is the same plant they make pulque out of. If you haven't seen the pulque video yet, they drink that plant fermented. Make sure to check out that video. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just like an Instagram story. It kind of looks like testicles. Like it looks like there's sheep testicles on the inside. We made it. Don't fall. One thing I love about this country, Steve, is the lack of guardrails. <laughs> Steve is a little bit scared of heights. Yeah, I am. Ooh, that's really high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is really high. It's just because this bush is here. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Steve, come here for a photo. No. Oh. Dangle your legs off the edge. No, it's, it's, it looks really nice from here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, look, see, the boiling water. It's amazing, right? So it's not actually, I hope it's not, hot. Yeah, super cold. It's amazing, so it's, it's boiling not because of the heat underground. Normally it's seismic activity. The heat of the core of the world makes the water bubble up here. It's just how it rushes through the rocks and collects oxygen and gases in the actual earth. It does not smell like sulfur. So a lot of hot springs do smell like rotten eggs. This is just oxygen, it's just air. So it's cold, it smells decent, and you can swim in it without being liquefied in acid or burning yourself. So it's not actually a hot spring, though it's very similar in how it's formed. Fun fact as well, calcium carbonate, the same thing that made this cliff is what seashells are made out of. Exactly the same compound. Oh, this is a great spot to see how this place works. Amazing. So here we have one giant petrified waterfall and then two more over to the right. One, two. We're standing on a fourth one. And here in the sides of the cliff, you can see these holes. One, two, and three. And here you can definitely see how the water used to flow out and formed all these shelves off to the side. The one over here is still active. And if you look close, you can see it bubbling and it's formed this giant shape that's jutting out of the side of the cliff. So this tunnel goes down into the ground, it comes out, out from under my feet, basically out of the side of the cliff and it's formed this big mushroom shape. It's really incredible. That's how this entire region was formed. All of these waterfalls were formed exactly the same way.
Welcome to my room. My real room. The one back in Canada. If you've been following this channel for a long time, you might have seen it a few times. I wish I could travel with this place because it makes it for an amazing studio to film these outros in. Behind me, there is all kinds of memorabilia and souvenirs. There's maps of a lot of the places I've gone. There's an Ibiza t-shirt. <laughs> uh, and there's even human blood which is real human blood from a guy I don't even know. He just threw this at my face and I think this souvenir might be the inspiration for our next story time on this channel. I'm back home taking a little break. Life has been a bit of a whirlwind recently, which is not an excuse not to post. So I've been queuing up a ton of videos. I'm gonna try to hit three a week, which will be a first on this channel, three videos a week. I am super stoked. And also, I would love to honor the one and only, Mary Ann Nazca. Mary Ann Nazca for making me hand of fame in this particular video. I love your comments on the channel, so if you want a shout out on the hand of fame, just end a comment with experiences over possessions which is the motto here. You'll be featured here and there's a bonus for those of you who have already been on the Hand of Fame, who will be on the Hand of Fame, and also our Marianne Nazca, who is currently on the Hand of Fame. Just wait until the next video is posted and you'll find out. Experiences over possessions. I'm excited to kick some serious video butt after taking a short break. I'll catch you guys very soon in the next video.